back again for more games of uh, War Game European Escalation. It's going to be on the Open Ranger map, and as you can see, it's going to be a 4 versus 4, which... Well, that's interesting. I don't recall there being uh, question marks for our opponents there, but... Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. So yes, it's going to be uh, on the... Um, was it again? Well, anyway, it's, it's going to be on the the uh, open range map. That's it. Um, and interesting. All question marks. Well, hopefully this free play is not screwed or anything. Otherwise, I guess this video won't be uh, uploaded. But uh, in either case, yeah, I'm going to be playing as a uh, NATO. So that's been last man. And yeah, playing against Pact. I believe the mode is destruction. And yeah, we're just um, indicating what we'll be taking. So I'll be taking Kilo. I'll be taking Gleam as well, apparently, and Ghost is taking Tango, and everyone else is just screwing around, just there for the right. So what that we'll see what, um... Okay then, I guess the game's just gonna start, we'll have question marks all over. Ah, uh, maybe they had, um, Russian names or something like that, maybe that's why it's question marks. In any case, um, yeah, didn't even really take a chance to learn what the hell everyone's actually deploying, so what the hell, we'll just see what happens. So it looks like, uh, no one on the opponent's side has, um put down any flares or anything like that, so... And of course I can't see the chat for some reason, so I don't know what the hell's going on there, but what the hell. We'll uh, just see how things play out. So it looks like uh, the opponent's sending in two Havocs on the left and right flank, so a bit risky, um, given the fact that, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, normal practice to use, a, well, AA units with your initial forces, of course, especially AA missile units, and sending Havocs out um, on their own is, well, they can get torn up pretty quickly. Let's have a look. Their optics are normal, actually, but, um, yeah, they can still get get picked off by uh, AA units, which is probably what we'll be seeing here. Twin auto cannons for flag the pilots. So there we go, they're uh, moving up there, doing a little bit of damage, but uh, yeah, Havoc's uh, moving uh, away as quickly as possible there. So yeah, it's luckily, um, lucky for them, my ally, uh, actually was it, yeah, Mini A didn't bring um, AA missile units, because yeah, those Havocs probably would have been destroyed before they could react. That's what's happening here. Whoa, Ghost is getting torn up by Havocs though. Let's see, he doesn't have a Oh, no, wait, yes, he does have anti-air guys here, but uh, they're all the way in the back. For some reason, he decided to unload them there rather than try to get them in a bit closer. But, uh, yeah, so he's going to try to use uh, VABs against the Havocs, but, yeah, as you can see, the Havocs can just uh, kite them a bit. And there you go, yeah, so, yeah, VABs trying to aim, uh, but Havocs, yeah, just keep uh, kiting them out of range. It's kind of funny, really. That's interesting, that being the initial uh, engagement. Question mark getting the uh, initial shots off there. And these VABs not having a great time to say least, not having a great time at all. So hopefully my other replays um, don't have this, because yeah, I think this is the first time I've seen that replay with just question marks there, but uh, well, whatever, see what happens. These Havocs just seem to have seemingly endless supplies of munitions, oh, but there we go, they ran out of their uh, unguided rockets, I believe, but they've still got the um, ATGMs and the uh, cannons. Wow, look at them go, just kiting these units. <laughs> Uh, amazing, we still haven't got a sink any points at all. So yes, because this map's called Open Range, of course, uh, as you can see, it's uh, incredibly open. Not much when it comes to... Uh, well, actually, I suppose there are some changes in elevation here and there, but uh, yeah, it's a bit flat and uh, open. And yeah, a couple of forests here and there, but yeah, as you can see, there's not really much in terms of cover for command units in uh, actual control zones. So you can see, just have the uh, forests strategically positioned on the edges of the um, control zones. Which is interesting, having an actual war like that and, uh, you know, ha setting up a control zone so it's just, you know, its edges are right at the edges of the forest. I mean, really, what kind of sense is that? Uh, but anyway, following what's happening here, still, uh, is there any conflict having at the moment here? Are these uh, Havocs just kiting the crap out of us? But here we go. Marta's finally firing a couple of shots of their auto cannons, doing a little bit of damage to the Havocs, but, uh, yeah, these Havocs actually ran out of ammo, except for, um, their own um, auto cannons, interesting. Well, we've got uh, T-34s, oh sorry, not T-34s, T-80s, T-72s coming in. So T-80Bs are the fancier variants with uh, nice little ATGMs and everything, and T-72Bs, oh that's right, they're the fancier versions of the T-72s with, uh, yeah, nice armor and, uh, yeah, very nice ATGMs as you can see, so just uh, shoot the crap out of these uh, Sadakin APCs and they'll just be forced to retreat there. Wow ridiculous to say the least. And as for me, uh, yeah, deploying my guys to Lima and managing to uh, capture it for the time being. And yeah, I really should have tried to hide this um, 
command v armor maybe in one of these little hedgerows. I mean, it would have been, would have been a bit more in the open there, but uh, yeah, I thought these buildings would actually provide a bit more cover, but uh, if I remember correctly, that doesn't appear to be the case uh, later on. That's all, what can you do? Okay, so yeah, we've got uh, attacks continuing by our opponents here. Well, counterattack, I suppose. Uh, interestingly enough, we're not seeing any recon units by either of these two players here, from what I can see. Not seeing any of them with those little binoculars next to them or anything like that, which is very bizarre. I'm not really sure what the hell the point of that is. On the left here we go, we're finally out seeing a, a bit of sense here by uh, my ally and uh, my opponents here. So we've got um, yeah, a couple of recon units along with the uh, main forces, and Havoc's also being a pain in the ass as well. Let's see, where are the... oh, my up down goes whatever the hell that was. Let's see, ah, oh, there we go, there's the uh, AA artillery. Yeah, probably should have bought a couple of um, missile and AA units, but oh well, what can you do? He has got an attack here by Mini A, yeah, and uh, don't recall really sending too much of my own stuff out, yeah, just putting a few guys here and there. Oh, there we go, Flag Panthers actually do manage to get into range, and these Havocs are slowly, slowly getting to get torn apart. So there we go, fortunately, yeah, there goes one, and the second one I'm assuming is going to get killed off soon, no? Oh, actually managed to just take out one Havoc and the other one uh, almost getting killed off. In fact, flying so damn low, my artillery probably would have been able to hit us, but uh, yeah, unfortunately missing there. And still not seeing anything at all when it comes to scouts or anything. How bizarre! Such a bizarre fight on the right here, to say the least. Oh, well, but in any case, yeah, as you can see, we're starting to catch up to Pact uh, in terms of uh, score points. And there we go. We have crap loads of um, ATGM armed infantry shooting the crap out of these uh, tanks here. Where are the. Um, AA uh, infantry, though. I thought they were around here somewhere. Ah, here we go, the blowpipes. God, 2,100 meters. Crappy accuracy in HE. I think they're pretty cheap, but still, goddamn. Uh, question mark launching a. Uh, gosh, that sounds so ridiculous. But anyway, launching a um, flare. Help. Okay, so yes. Help here. Whatever his name is. Boyka, Frioika. Needs uh, AA there. Yeah, there we go, a bit of conflict happening here as well. So my uh, ATGM jeeps engaging T-55 AMVs. Goodness me, it's an AMV, none other. Pshew, managing to get a few shots off there. Oh, come on, one HP each. God, I really should have had... Um... Actually, where the hell are my tanks anyway? Oh, okay, they're Boyka's tanks, whatever you call it. Interesting, he's not sensing a map. I really could do with them, especially as my guys are out of ammunition, funnily enough. Well, like... We're... Question mark um, is leaving his uh, T55 AMVs back there. Interesting. And the right, no one's got anything at all when it comes to um, thingy majinkies when it comes to uh, recon. So God knows what the hell's happening there. And I believe, yeah, that's some um, combination of mine and uh, my uh, allies' artillery firing on different points there. Ah, it's an interesting game indeed. We've got cheaper methods engaging as well. Interesting. Huh. He's getting torn up though by uh, T62, it's just a cheapo variance. And what do we have there? Black Panther's actually engaging. Uh, actually, I think, um, yeah, the Alto Cannons aren't too shabby against infantry. You just have to, yeah, make sure to keep your units, you know, away from the infantry teams as, yeah, they, um, well, short range infantry teams anyway, since, uh, yeah, they, uh, rifle teams can um, get you those short range rockets. But anyway. Have here, my are they my? Yes, they are my uh, MX 10Ps, which would be the uh, APCs, APCs I used to deliver these shashas, are getting uh, bombed. But so uh, there we go, managed to get my chaperolds to fire a couple of shots there. That doesn't really seem to do much though, which kind of sucks. And these guys are actually going to be flanking these T55s, that's kind of funny. Uh, and decide why not, I'll just keep going. And well, unfortunately, these guys are strong, but yeah, managed to take out this tank. And am I going to keep going, or am I going to retreat them? Nope, I'm going to retreat them. Oh, but then again, they're all panicked anyway. I like these Malyutskas, which got crap loads of rockets and so on. And yeah, at the same time, uh, my allies not doing too well on the left. They kind of sucks, but can you do it? And yeah, I really could have done with uh, my allies' forces, Frioika's forces coming in here to try to uh, assist a bit, as I don't recall actually um, yeah, having that many uh, resource points. But uh, oh well, what can you do? Well, I'm not doing too bad. On the left though, but yeah, getting forced to retreat, and still our opponents are maintaining just a slim, slim lead over us, and yes, here comes the uh, Havoc, and I wonder, is he actually, what the hell is he going for? Oh, going after these, of course, I think. But yeah, this was a really piss poor position for the um, command, I mean, I didn't really find out until later on. 
But, uh, oh well, live and learn, eh? Live and learn. I thought it'd be, you know, safe in this little backyard thing, but uh, new apparently it wasn't. And it's really like I was saying defence. Well, of course, I played had defence there, but uh, anyway. What I really needed was some supplies, though, to say the least. Here we go, sending in some uh, cheap chieftains. Try to soak up some damage from these Malutkas. Although, yeah, that would, might have worked a bit better if I actually had uh, some of my own ATGMs to actually fire them from behind, but uh, oh well. In the case, uh, what do we have here? Def ah, okay, yeah, same defense as well, so. Yeah, unfortunately, he's getting slowly pushed back. He's got a few fancier leopards coming in, but in my opinion, he would have been better off uh, maybe sending a couple more ATGM equipped units with um, maybe a couple uh, chieftains or something like that, just to soak up a bit of fire there. And of course, yeah, more uh, recon would have been good too, as well. As you can see, he's not operating with any recon at the moment, which means he's pretty much blind, while his opponent's question mark. Has got a PT-76B for uh, recon with uh, good optics. Although I think, uh, is that me firing? Yes it is. So just get a bit of a close-up angle there. There we go. If me firing with my fancy artillery to try to uh, assist a bit there. And see if I can get a nice little view of my artillery hitting. Oh, it's got the Havoc coming in. But very risky with these um, Havocs. Um, if we had AA missiles, missile units or just simple AAA um, the units would have been able to take out it. helicopters with relative ease. I mean, you don't normally want to have your helicopters that close. I mean, my god. <laughs> These guys could have almost taken them out with their bloody machine guns, for god's sake. But no. Looks like the um, gamble ball by, by my opponent's question mark is uh, paying off by looks. Certainly, yeah, my artillery is not exactly hitting much either. Also, have a few uh, flashpoints on the minimap there around the uh, middle. What is happening there? Let's see, Malyutkas continuing to fire. Oh, there we go, I'm actually uh, going forward with my chieftains, trying to blast the crap out of these Malyutkas, which have got a little bit of armor. But yeah, as you can see, they're slowly getting torn up. The problem is, though, they are all still firing, though, because none of them have uh, actually been destroyed yet. Although, at the same time, my chieftains are still more or less uh, intact as well. Although, yeah, as you can see, not exactly having a great time against them. My uh, ATGM Milan's finally getting uh, supply trucks near them. Although, by the time they actually uh, fire off a missile, it'll probably be too late yet. It's time to retreat them, of course. Following in with my chieftains, not knowing what is actually uh, over there. Maybe not the greatest thing to do, but uh, oh well. And well, as you can see, because I think it's because, yeah, they're panicked and all that. Yeah, they're having a bit of trouble aiming. But there we go, my uh, ATGM equipped units starting to fire and psh, blowing up one of their fancy schmancy tank destroyers. And the second one, perfect. I do say so. And yeah, forcing them to retreat a bit more. There's Havoc's coming in though. But thankfully, my chaparral's are there to chaperone my tanks, if I can actually hit, my god, look at those missiles miss, there we go, I managed to get one hit off, but, uh, oh there we go, so can I get, uh, well, rather one of the uh, Havocs gets destroyed, perfect, I, <laughs> really AA here, but if you like, as if I didn't notice that, and of course, like, just like that, my chaparrals are out of ammunition, but I do manage to take out one Havoc and force the other one to retreat, but I've got two more Havocs coming in, Jesus Christ, because apparently the uh, service just had an endless night, numbers of uh, Havocs in this game. Well, they given the fact that it was a 4 versus 4, if all of them had Havocs available, I suppose, uh, it'd be a bit more understandable. And, wow, he's going to want to, um, there we go, stop moving his Leopard there, so it's only got uh, bad stabilizers. So, 262 versus a Leopard 1A3. Let's see. Yeah, I reckon the Leopard should win, but the thing is, there's two, two, sorry, two T62s out, along with another 4 coming in, so it kind of sucks to say at least. Got Flag Panzers coming in, which is a nice idea, but, um, yeah, we needed some more uh, AA missile equipped units in my opinion. So these leopards probably could have gone into this little uh, hedged farmland for a little bit of cover at the very least. Well, they were getting some very nice um, side shots there actually, yeah, before the T-62s decide to uh, rotate and engage them there. So the side armour is, uh, yeah, really piss poor as you can see. So Just as well, just as well really, because yeah, these are the cheap uh, leopards as well, T-62s being a bit um, better I think. Three, five. Yeah, okay, yeah, relatively nice, nice relatively. And yeah, we've also got a bit of uh, havoc in the middle as well, we'll just to see what's happening there. Damn it, unfortunately I missed it, but it looks like my, um, well, my allies' opponent on the right, or, or on our right, should I say, uh, is deciding to uh, go forward with crap loads, and I mean crap loads of BMP1, so they're the uh, APCs um, and with the uh, AT Gems as well as a nice little main gun, as well as yeah, a couple of uh, tanks coming in, and... Okay, they finally have recon, but it's all the way back there. They should probably try to send at least a little bit behind their forces, but uh, hell, what can you do? Sending them into crap loads of ATGM armed infantry. Now that's just silly. Look at all these Panzer Grenadiers, ATGM Milans. Really, that's insane. But there we go. Finally, we do have the Havoc coming in for the opponents actually um, 
blow the crap out of a few of them. And yeah, my opponents would have um, done better if uh, actually unleashed some artillery on these infantrymen. As yeah, these guys um, completely caught out of position with no yeah, APCs at all. We got some. Uh, wow, well, we got masses of uh, hogs coming in. Not even heavy hogs, but just regular hogs. Interesting. But yeah, these guys are pretty much going to get routed, although, yeah, opponents on the right probably could have handled that a bit better. But in any case, yeah, opponents do still have um, more score points than us still. I'm not, not doing too bad for my team, though, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit interesting seeing these masses of uh, BMP1s out against um, ATG amount of infantry. Maybe they're expecting more vehicles or something like that, but, uh, yeah, I haven't really seen much artillery from the opponents either. I think just a little bit on the left. Yeah, there we go, got a bit of artillery hitting there here and there, but um, yeah, they could have done with some artillery on the uh, right as well. So what is, oh, just the cheap Akatsias as well, so not, not even the uh, fancy artillery. So we'll just get some... Uh, there we go, nice last views of that. Not really hitting much, but uh, what the hell. And what do you know, these cheap uh, gunships for the uh, packed guys are actually being forced to retreat as well. Almost getting taken out, but not quite. They get double the amount of hit points, so I'm managing to uh, weather the storm a little bit before being forced to retreat. And yeah, ATGM equipped with BMPs running out of missiles, but uh, yeah. Managing to inflict pretty uh, significant losses there. And this will be interesting Hogs versus Havocs. Because <laughs> yes, it's funny, um, normally uh, NATO gets uh, better auto cannons and machine guns and all that on their helicopters compared to uh, packed, but when you have things like hogs, which have only got rocket pods, then uh, yeah, then, then packed hel helicopters can uh, go to town on them. Oh, well, watch, watch for watch our me. It's interesting, I think it says watch for me, but unfortunately I don't really have any uh, recon units there. Oh well. And yeah, hogs being forced to retreat, although it doesn't look like my ally lost any, although he might have lost like two of them without um, me seeing, but uh, in any case, yeah, he's losing his... Uh, Inventory to the Havocs, which are actually running out of rockets again, but yeah, they do have uh, good old-fashioned auto-cannons. Hogs, for some reason, are starting to come back into the fray, sensing that, you know, the Havocs are starting to uh, deplete their ammunition. And, oh, there we go, we finally do have um, a nice little rocket barrage for, uh, here we go, for the opponents. But, um, in my opinion, it's way too late now. He really should have just saved up his rockets, as, uh, yeah, rocket barrages are pretty uh, supply-intensive. Should have actually um, used the rockets before um, when the infantry were clustered on this uh, little hilly region. So in any case, yeah, he's sending up his uh, hogs instead, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they're just slowly getting torn to pieces. There we go. Got a heavy hog down. Got a heavy hog there. <laughs> ah, just like that movie. But anyway, and yeah, Panzer Grenadier is just getting caught out. So we've got Bradley IFE's coming in, funny enough, without any uh, um, recon, of course. Jesus Christ. And here comes my uh, command arm out again, because yeah, I think it was destroyed. One that was there, and just seeing what points are actually captured. Let's have a look. Sat for you. Yeah, so yeah, the opponents do have more of the map controlled. I mean, it's, sort of, it's more or less split half and half. But the problem is, though, Mala is not really controlling um, Tango or November. Then again, Quebec's not really being controlled either. But yeah, not be, not controlling Tango kind of uh, sucks. Although yeah, they also had a pretty heavy fire there, so I guess it'll be a bit hard for that to uh, happen. Occur, especially uh, if you don't use buddy recon, which is incredibly. I stress incredibly important in this game, using dedicated recon units. Spotting a bit there, there you go. But, uh, oh well, what can you do? Live and learn. Hopefully my allies learn from this, because yeah, this is just ridiculous. The guy on the left has got no recon either. So just getting torn to pieces. We've even got a ZSU AAA coming out. I'm pretty sure that's known as AAA, because yeah, it's basically just uh, also can um, AA units. But so whatever, it's coming out. And it's probably going to tear up these Panzer Grenadiers, maybe... Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. My opponent on the left has only got a, uh, an armored recon all the way there. Probably should send it a bit further forward as well. But what the hell, I suppose we'll just rely on the uh, artillery to blow the crap out of... Uh, basically everything, as you can see. Yeah, Got out there. Ah, the level of detail in this game. That you miss out on when you're actually playing. And here we go, looks like I'll actually be starting up an attack on Mark. I can't remember how well that goes, actually. And one thing you don't normally want to do is just rush out infantry like this without proper support. But I do... What the hell is that? Oh no, that's not. That's, um... Belongs to that other guy, I guess. Yeah, that AA support, I suppose, as well as um, his own Panzer Grenadiers. And I've also got... Oh, okay, those are the other guys. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Well, I thought I brought up mortars or something like that, but I guess... Ah, here we are. So sending in mortars as well. One of the first games when I start uh, using mortars just to shell 
forests and to clear them out. I probably could have gone with an actual artillery barrage instead, but oh well. Ally on the left is uh, continuing to do ridiculous things, such as uh, yeah, sending in uh, infantry out in the open against entrenched vehicles. Don't know what the hell he was thinking there, but at least they do have a bit of artillery fire there. But uh, yeah, ZSU's bp ones firing. Uh, Jaeger's not exactly having a uh, great time, as you can see, but somehow managing to dodge almost every single shot that's um, coming out against them. There we go, now they've got stunned. And uh, yeah, basically now just uh, laying on the field there, so... Wow. <laughs> Standing up and then dying. Wow, that's... Uh, horrifying but amusing at the same time, I have to admit. But uh, anyway. Yeah, also got a bit of artillery coming in, and I'm presuming that's my artillery. Yep, I'd say it most likely is. And yeah, it looks like the uh, right flank has pretty much been demolished. Got a couple of uh, ATGM teams, of all things, being dropped off by uh, transport helicopters. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. And I think that was spotted by my ally. Let's just have a look. Uh, we probably spotted it. I was just too late to see it. Ah, oh, well. Never mind, eh? Never mind. Well, uh... Oh, there we go. This is doing something a bit smart. He's got a couple of autocannon equipped uh, cheap helicopters just to take out the um, packed helicopters. Although, yeah, you have to watch out for AA units. Fortunately, the only AA units opponents had on the left flank, or out of the left flank, should I say, were just, were just these ZSUs, which are all uh, panicked at the moment. But if I was not too careful, then, uh, yeah, he'll uh, run into them. But, yeah, he does manage to retrieve them just in the nick of time. And let's see how my assault on the, the middle is going. So let's see, where are oh, that's right, his command vehicle's all the way back there, out in the open even. You'd think he would have put it into like a little bit of the forest or something like that, just to help cover us, but oh well. Can you do it? In any case, yeah, we do have uh, some incoming fire here. My guys are spread out pretty well, at the same time they kind of allow us um, fire to hit a bit as well. And there we go, finally we do have uh, more the mortars starting to fire on... Uh, Something or other. Ah, oh, there we go. I think I might have actually spotted his command vehicle. And it's only a, a crappy command jeep as well, so... Bit of a strange choice for something that's meant to be, um, you know, around the middle of the map like this where it's going to be heavily contested. But in any case, yeah, I do manage to take it out with uh, my mortar, so very nice little victory for me there. But as you can see, yeah, the, um, the disparity uh, between NATO and PACT is starting to grow a bit with uh, yeah, PACT pulling out way ahead. My chasseurs getting a bit caught up there, and for some reason I don't have any um, tanks or anything to back them up, I don't know what the hell is thinking of that. At the very least I have mortars, thank god I at least had a sense for that, but um, yeah, as you can see this chassis is just getting uh, torn to shreds out in the open like this. T-62 is slowly getting torn up as well, but still. And fortunately yeah, my mortars are managing to dodge all the uh, artillery shots coming in. Well there we go, finally starting to fire mortars directly uh, at this tank, I think. And there we go, at least managing to stun the crap out of it, so... A, bit too, a little bit of, uh, too little too late though, but oh well, what can you do? Oh, that's right, I must have been concentrating my artillery, yeah, on the, um... on our left flank this entire game, just to try to help out the opponent... Uh, sorry, not the opponent, our my ally as much as possible. Yeah, phew, gotta love that. Although, yeah, as you can see, we do have a couple of cheap Akatsias coming forward to fire as well, which I suppose is one of the good things about cheap artillery. Um, you can afford to get it a bit closer to the action, and if it gets destroyed, it's not such a big loss, because you can see 55 points. About the cost of a um, a uh, medium tank, I suppose. Heavy medium tank. And yeah, here we go. Here come my uh, ATG Milans, firing in vain at this T-62, managing to miss almost every single shot. Oh no, wait, were there two there? I think there were two there. Well, I managed to kill off one, I suppose. That's better than nothing. Yeah, we'll just turn off this display zone thing. There we go. Better get a better view of what's happening there. We'll have to watch out for, of course, this... Bloody BTR, which is a very nice position there. Two of them, in fact. Frankly, I do have chi chieftains coming in. Can I actually spot what's going on there? Nope. They're well hidden in the forest. At least for the time being. And yeah, I should just send in chieftains, you know, just so, so to help us send them against there. But I probably suspected there were some infantry in there or something like that. Well, at least that's what I'm guessing uh, happens anyway. And well, we've got BMP1s coming in there. A little bit uh, close to comfort there, as yeah, these flag panzers. Well, they're not too shabby when it comes to, when it comes to um, their auto cannons. And interestingly enough, um, opponents sending in a rocket barrage despite the fact that he's got BMP 1s right in the middle of it. Yeah, why not? Say why not? They're uh, doing a decent job actually, um, holding the ground there. Well, these flag panzers are taking the minimum damage, but there we go, forcing them to rout. So, Chapadels of Moan coming in though, and wow, what a time to be sending in Chapadels. Uh, fortunately, they don't let it go picked off by the BMP 1s. I think they're focusing. Um, 
well, they appear to be focusing on the yeah, taking up the uh, Flag Panzers which are attacking them instead. And Chieftains, I thought they just took a couple of pod shots from those VMP ones, but I guess not. Same time, yeah, sending in some mortar fire to drive out to the units from that forest, which appears to have actually happened. So, shabby and So, getting very heavy fighting on the uh, left and middle flanks. So we'll just go back to the um, left flank here to see what's happening. And again, we got uh, these cannon units being used in almost a point, point blank range. The uh, ally still not bringing up any um, recon there. That is a very, very um, costly mistake, in my opinion. Especially when you have all these longer range weapons, such as. Um, ATGMs from Havocs incoming and all that. So yeah, I don't really don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Well, at least the opponent does have some form of recon now. Though maybe um, a couple of extra recons wouldn't hurt, you know, just in case they, they get uh, blown up. But uh, oh, well, what can you do? And here we go. Here's a little attack on my uh, little out cropping of units here. Being forced to retreat my command vehicle, which was on oh, that's right next to the uh, echo point. My famous also getting blown to crap as I basically abandon them in order to save my uh, more uh, costly. Um, <coughs> Sorry, costly vehicles. Managed to inflict a bit of damage on them, but uh, yeah, we could have done a bit, bit of that. And yeah, the opponent's also starting to uh, get a little bit too close for comfort on, well, on an India reinforcement point, which has even got a nice little FOB for them to steal as well. Why not? And let's see what's happening on the right now, actually, since we're starting to have a bit more uh, combat here. Opponents, uh, not opponent, allies seems to be focusing uh, on AAA for some reason. Loads of flak panzers, not really sure what the hell he's thinking of that. I mean, granted, they're at least the cheap ones with an alright range, but uh, still, though, against all of these units with ATGMs, cannons, and all that, they're not going really, not really going to do that well. Although, if you notice, the opponent doesn't really have um, any uh, recon. Oh, there we go. Actually, no, he does have recon right there. So, there we go. Making a good decision there while my ally on the right does. Um, not seem to have any recon. We'll just see what's happening from. Uh... Oh, there we go. We actually can see a few things happening from our perspective, but I don't see where the recon is to actually spot that. Maybe it's in this cluster of bushes. No, I don't think so. Well, whatever. You can see, yeah, managing to uh, at least keep them off the tango points. But yeah, these guys coming in to do a bit of damage, taking out one of the. Um... Well, the only command vehicle that was in the area, and yeah, as you can see, NATO kind of really flagging behind rather badly compared to Pacto. So. And there you go, it looks like that is it. So we had a defeat, but they only had a minor victory, so... But victory is still victory, whether it's minor or major. But at least it was a bit closer than I suppose it could have been there, given what was happening. So there you have it, um, various mistakes being made on both sides. Uh, the biggest, of course, being uh, not actually having recon for my allies. My God, what the hell are they thinking? And not to mention uh, charging uh, with infantry in that wide open space is not exactly the uh, greatest thing to do either. Then, yeah, of course, keeping a forest covered is a good, uh, would have been a good idea too. But uh, what can you do? So until next time, this has been uh, Down to the Vid, just signing off.